<laughs> so this you is. What? You're okay. Oh, you're fine. I mean, okay. we're related. You, yes, you know, that's true. We even matched today, so I know we, we can, this was we not planned. Really. <laughs> yeah, but awesome. I mean, this is my mom, so <laughs> things like that are going to happen. And it's been a couple happy surprises today. This is by far this we traveled for Burger Quest, but I've heard mm. a lot of great things about uh, uh, Slingers, and I was also very happy to see that you're partnered up with this wonderful place called uh, F-Stop Fitzgerald, which is a fun play on words in so many ways. So, and also a nerd haven that I am totally digging at the moment. But this is Rob from Slangers here in Salem, and we've heard some great things. Oh, thank you. Thank and happy to be here. Can you tell us uh, what you, why you love burgers and why you're the best? Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, thanks for so much for coming. Oh. I've been looking forward to, to seeing you guys. Uh, so, yeah, no, I... I started coming up with this burger idea kind of during the pandemic when I was just kind of at home going a little stir crazy, eating, mm. eating something. As we all were, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So before that, I was uh, a chef up in Portland, went to culinary school and okay. cooked high end up there for a while. Um, but then uh, got to the point where I was like, I need to do my own thing and wanted to really focus on something really specific. And you're uh, just now celebrating the one-year anniversary, yes, correct? Yes. Congratulations, Thank that's you. awesome. Thank you. Do you find yourself uh, feeling more fulfilled or more joy doing burgers for people than you do the, the high-end stuff in Portland? I, I do. I mean, it's very it's very personal. You yeah. know, it's 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 something that's my own that I got to kind of focus on. Yeah, one mm-hmm. specific thing, uh, and I I don't know. I prefer this environment, you know, versus you're not in bad surroundings. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a it's a great place here. We, we love it. So, I mean, a lot of people were kind of reevaluated what they were going to do with their life after during the pandemic. Of like, okay, I'm not going back to that crap again. <laughs> what can I do to make this better? So that's really cool that you found that thing for exactly. yourself. Yeah. So, what are you going to be giving us today? Uh, today, I'm going to give you guys my my one signature burger. Okay. I basically got one burger on the menu. It's my main burger, or I have a veggie burger option as well. Um, but yeah, my Slanger Smash Burger. Okay, mm-hmm. so Smash Smash Burger style. Yep. And just the basic ingredients, but I don't want to use the word basic until yeah. we actually get a taste of it. But yeah. sure. the standard, yeah. the standard ingredients. It's sure. Yeah, it's all it's all <laughs> scratch made though. So okay. I make, awesome. so so today I made brioche buns from scratch uh, for for the burger. Oh. Uh, so they're fresh out of the oven just an hour ago. I think ago. I smelled that a little while ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it's fr- fresh ground brisket for the burgers. And wow. for the cheese, I take uh, total milk, extra sharp white cheddar, and smoked Oaxaca from a local creamery, and make it into like a new American style cheese that's really melty and very good. See, I shouldn't use the word basic. That's just not, not should basic. not be in my vocabulary <laughs> during the request. That's just too mean. No. <laughs> yep. Uh, no, it's. I mean, it's a few ingredients. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, then uh, then it's topped with a uh, caramelized onion aioli. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm I'm very excited. Yeah. You Thank were you. one of the highly nominated places for our burger request. <laughs> And we're coming quite close to the end here, so I'm excited we actually got to come visit you. Well, thank you so much. So, uh, do you mind if we just kind of chill here and have a beer while we uh, wait for our burger? Definitely. I'll go get started on that. Thank you, man. Nice to meet you. You too. (laughs) Well, thanks for coming to do this with me. I figured if we're going to do a burger request, we might as well uh, invite the person who uh, uh, aided and abetted my addiction. (laughs) I did do that, didn't I? Yeah. Of course, it's pretty much all you would eat. So <laughs> well, that and, and there only a few mac things. and cheese and chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yeah, is that yeah. it? I think that's chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, and spaghetti. You like spaghetti? Spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> and pizza eventually. Yeah. McDonald's yeah. was your go-to, which is probably why. You, yeah. You why, know. why I'm so tall and have so many health, yes, health problems. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the, that's why we're having real burgers now that are made by like true <laughs> artists that love yeah. their craft and use real ingredients. Huh. This is right. Yeah. But I do remember uh, forcing you to stop at McDonald's whenever we went to like Chinese food. Oh, everywhere, every meet. place we went. <laughs> we had to go to McDonald's to get something for you. <laughs> no, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for making the travel down. No, it's okay. It's not the right so you're doing what? Are you going to an event and then going over to make a dinner? Well, what are you eating then, like? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I just, I, I got to make a, some meal prep um, with all the things I've been doing recently that all are around food. And beer, and I, I hosted, had a <clears throat> acoustic lunch thing yesterday, which would bring in like bands and they play oh, cool. these little shows for us. Oh, you know what? I saw something after uh, you posted something. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a load of the band came in. They were fantastic. Awesome. Um, but last night, when I was flipping through Instagram, uh, one of the photos that a listener tagged me was me like bent over and in a weird like sitting oh. position. And all I could see was like this oh. <laughs> going over my shirt, and I was like, "Ah, crap!" All right, it's time to stop being such a lazy it turd. Is a Forty thing. <laughs> well, it's also a, being a, a busy, lazy, yeah. uh, beer burger loving person. So, 
what Burger Quest is done next week. I mean, it's still football season, so that's a lot of sitting and snacking. But I, I just need to get off my butt. Yeah. I need, I, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to work out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this week is out. And next Tuesday's probably out, too. Why? So, I, mean, I think I'm going to go tomorrow. Because I've been doing the Oh, you're too busy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. But you, so, I mean, from what I heard, you're killing it, though. I am killing it. Good. I can, I can, you'd be amazed. Good. You would be amazed. You well, should see your mother doing RDL, RDLs and stuff. So I go, eh. RDLs? <laughs> yeah. A Romanian deadlifts. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you even got the acronyms down for I it. Know. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I know. I need, I need to get back in that mode. Because, yikes. I went, yeah. on, I went on a run a few weeks ago just to, to jump start it. Oh, yeah. And w- just was woke up. I, I also can't pace myself. <laughs> I, 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 for, I, for some reason, think like, oh, just because I just haven't run in six months doesn't mean I can't still go full speed. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You're gonna get hurt if you do that. <laughs> well, it's just the soreness that it's yeah. is uh, discouraging yeah. to keep going. Well, I have that too. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> I like the feeling, but it's got to be enough that it doesn't like isn't questionable going downstairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those and ramps, ramps really hurt sometimes. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Well, I pulled my hamstring, so that was Pike months ago, two months ago, and I'm still dealing with it. <laughs> and that wasn't even working out. That was helping Mike with something. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, the last time I tried to get going again in the gym and stuff was the day, the day I broke my hand. How is it? It's actually really it looks, good. It looks like you're doing okay. It's really good. This is the bone that broke right there. Oh, Lord. And then I dislocated these two fingers. <laughs> that knuckle doesn't really want to seem to come back anymore, but uh, it feels pretty Hopefully good. Hopefully it will. It feels pretty good. <sighs> Craziness. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. I think he's got some extra surprises for us. Oh, well. because he he uh, extra surprises. I, don't, I, I think he's like, all right, just the standard burger. I want more than that. Oh so, my lord! Oh, right. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. So well, yeah, that yep. Looks yummy. So yeah, we got my oh, burgers my and fries right here. Yep. It's got. Oh, the smell. Wild. I know. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I came home. I came home. Oh, okay. So okay. Good, good. This looks good, awesome. Good, and what's good. the dessert we got in front of us? Yep, that's uh, apple bread pudding. It's my mom recipe, and oh. we use my day old brioche buns that I that I make from scratch. Awesome. That. So yeah, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll, I'll grab you a couple jealous. napkins. Oh and, yeah, uh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank I'm you. Excited. Yeah. Wow. I love smash burgers. Thank you. Oh, there's a big one. Okay. Prepared and ready here. I think we're going to need them. Mmm. 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 How's that nice crunchy? Mmm. <laughs> the best. Sure. Do you see any of your pickled onion grits? Pickled onions, fried. Well, fried, okay. Yeah. That's where a lot of crunch is coming from. Mm-hmm. That's that delicious. And the, and the edges of these smash mm-hmm. burgers. And that cheese is really yummy. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna scoop some up here because it's melted on my plate. <laughs> uh, how about a speckled ham? Oh. It's such a cute place. It is. What are you talking about? Well, I know you like food. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> great burgers, great beers. And you can sit here and look at all the chachi stuff mm-hmm. all day. And there's seven different rooms of yarn, all themed differently. And outside. Oh, that is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got good fry. <laughs> Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Even the fat stuff is yummy. <laughs> Love when they can make a simple oh, burger. I want to taste this. So full of flavor. Mmm. Fried onion. Fried pickled green onions. So fries. Very good. And the fries sauce is yummy too. Mm. 
This is going to be such a hard decision to make. <laughs> this is week seven of eight. Mm. You have one more to do? One more. Mm. <clears throat> the last one's also like kind of food cart style. We've gone anywhere from higher end mm -hmm. restaurants, brick and mortars, to even one uh, place that was basically in a junkyard. Oh, really? <laughs> and, but I haven't had a bad burger yet. Wow. He's put a lot of thought into his burgers, though. For sure. With the background he's got yeah. in the culinary school and the experience doing mm -hmm. higher end stuff, to be able to add some luxury to a simple smash mm -hmm. burger and uh, mission accomplished. So good. Just staring yeah, me no, in the face. Yeah, Mike's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> mm. There's no way I can eat all that, so we can do. We can take it home. Well, <laughs> share the love. Mmm, <laughs> the burger. Yeah. Just a bite of the burger alone. I love Very the crispy, impressive. Crispy edges. <clears throat> this is a very happy surprise for a stop in, in Salem. Mm -hmm. Worth your time. Definitely. All right. Well, mm. I'm going to shut up for now so I can do some damage on this, but <laughs> yeah, Slingers here at F-Stop Fitzgerald's, <laughs> worth it. Good little fish, too. Thanks for being a part of Burger Quest. Mm. Thanks for asking me. Want to try a bite? Try a bite dessert. Oh, that's some thick. That's good. Real cream. Yep. It's the real thing. It looks like it's caramel, so caramel sauce or something. And apples. Nice fall dessert. Real apples. Mmm. That is thick cream. And it's warm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Whoa. I know. That could be addictive. You need to have some coffee in it. <laughs> so when do you have to decide? Well. We have one more week. It's not actually me. Really? Mmm. We're gonna let the listeners vote, mm. and then we will, because this is all sponsored by the Oregon Beef Council. Oh, okay. And uh, so I'm gonna sit down with them, and we're gonna talk it out based off what the votes are. And how do you think feel about where we are with this one compared to others? Those French fries are really good. Those French fries are good. <laughs> all of it's really good. Yeah. Um, this is up there. There was there was a couple we went to that. Almost went too far with the preparation. No, I don't want to even say that. Like, they went further than I ever thought anyone ever would. Oh. <laughs> um, with the locality of the ingredients they're getting, with the forethought and how they're making it, mm -hmm. with sometimes the days of preparation to build oh one burger. <laughs> uh, it's the, the love that people have for these burgers is really. It's so, it's so fun to, to witness. Yeah. It. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of how I feel that I am. It's like, 